Hey ghosties and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Moving in. Last time we left off, we climbed out of that well after doing a major boss fight that I don't even think <laughs> was really worth it. And we're gonna finish up this little area. Uh rescue the gnome. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> and I'll feed you a worm. Oh, and you. I don't want a worm. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Mm, they're okay. Uh, the hell's are you doing, man? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Huh? Let me rephrase this. Why are you doing this? It makes me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, I get that. It does look funny. I'll admit. Mind if I stay and watch for a while? We ain't looking for company, maggot. Not unless you want to join him up there. <laughs> How about this? You pay a toll <sighs> and go on as you like. Or else you fly. I ain't giving you shit. Stop it up! As the symbol glows... Power courses through you. Authority. Oh, authority. I ain't giving him shit. Um. I'm really just gonna, like, make peace with them and then sneak around and kill everyone. So this is... You're a true soul. I didn't know. Wouldn't dare question you. Never. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave you to it. Ah. Let's find you something to eat. All right, then. Fresh meats. Wait. Scared meats. Yes. Wait, are, they're leaving. I wanted, I wanted to kill them. Where are they going? Oh. Okay, I guess I don't have to fight them. Although I don't want the loot. Yeah, I'm coming. Break. What's going on back there? Go check it out! On it. I thought y'all left. What are you waiting for? They did leave. That was weird. Cut me loose. I'm I'm trying. There you go. Hey buddy. Oh bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Yeah. Well, get on with it. Get, get on with what? You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works. Yes. Not every time. I'd rather know how you got caught, man. Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Okay. Um. Apparently, you're far from home. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. No, I didn't. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the underdark, you know. <gasps> I didn't. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I didn't. I'm in search know. of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. That's but sad. I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. What's the Underdark? I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. 
Uh, bye. <laughs> also, there was a a hatch right here. I want to check this out. No traps, please. Ooh, speedy life feet. Speedy sparks. When the wearer dashes or takes a similar action during combat, they gain three lightning charges. Ooh, that's good for her. Potion of feather fall. Arrow. Okay, he gets the arrow. And, um, I guess I'll take the potion. Uh. But. Put those on. Okay, let's go. Interesting. Tell me, Gail. What is your interest in the astral plane? Time. Or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. It will be my home soon enough, should Vlacketh will it. Oh. Interesting. Understand. What is that sound? Hello? Oh! What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm... I didn't mean to interrupt, I'm sorry. Smash! Oh, smash! I didn't mean to! I... I didn't mean to! What the hell are you doing over here? <laughs> oh, they're sad about that. I'm s I'm sorry. You you started it. We we would have left. Uh, yeah. One moment they were embracing each other in intimacy. The next they're embracing only death. We'll take this pork. I am enjoying our walks together. Aren't you, Gail? Um, sure. In silence. <laughs> in silence? Take that burst of meat. beast fit for an ogre. Oh. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Oh, it looks cool. Yeah, examine the meat. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. No, I want the dagger. The dagger is tightly embedded in the carcass. You notice nothing unusual. Asteron. Hello. Can you pull this out? You have an amazing sleight of hand. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Yeah. Get the dagger. Why was it so hard to get out? Your cautious method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Oh, it looks cool. Okay, let's go to camp. Well met. Um, how does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in hell? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the archdevils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Uh, she's probably fine. Who is this source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in 
privacy. Mm hmm. I'm sworn to say no more. A powerful friend, hmm? Like a warlock patron, perhaps? You are a warlock. You know about bound souls and frozen tongues. I can only leave the rest to your imagination. Suffice to say, I hunt monsters, devils included, and I will do what I can to quench the coast of their flames. I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose a battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Let me take a look at that. Tiny groove spider across the ice surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. Isn't your eye a sending stone? A uh, sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. You mm. watch and listen for signs of deceit, but sense nothing unusual. Hmm. Okay. I am still suspicious of you. Sleepy, sleepy time. <laughs> Why does Astron sleep with his hands like that? It's so weird. Whoa. Hello? My, my, what manner of place is this? Pardon? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. Who the hell are you, man? What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Mm. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. I don't like this person. Uh, am I talking to the the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Mm. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Mm. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. What? Pardon? <laughs> there. Middle of somewhere. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Fucking lo the load. Um, can you be more specific? Where the fuck did you take the me? House of hope. Where the tired come to rest, mm. and the famished come to feed, lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to trust you. Uh, are these theatrics leading somewhere? <laughs> are you not entertained? No, 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 I don't like this. Far be it from me to disappoint. Uh-huh, I see that this bitch was hiding something. I knew it. Do it. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> mm. A devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Mmm... 
I... I don't like this bitch. Uh-uh. I don't... I don't like him. Yeah, I don't care what you are. I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? I'm not giving you my soul. question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. Mm. I could fix it all. Like that. I... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You're mad if I think I could, you're gonna make... I'm gonna make a deal with you? I don't even know you. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind. No. Before it's changed for you. I don't like you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Yeah, um... Take me back, <laughs> please. I don't want to. I don't want to see you again. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you, while you still have teeth. All those I will forever have teeth. symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts—they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Uh, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. No way. No way. Uh-uh. Uh, do y'all have anything to say about what just happened? <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. And well, this gets better and better. Shop uh. around, he said. He <laughs> seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Hmm. We, we do still have options. We haven't gotten to any of our options yet. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. It reminds me of my old master, Cazador, taunting his slaves with hope when he knew the game was rigged. You're a warlock. You understand how dangerous the wrong deal can be. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, I I don't I don't want anything to do with this Raphael person. Indeed, we can't. We have to figure out what's happening. Why we aren't changing, what's planned for us, and why a devil is suddenly taking an interest. If we can answer those questions, we might have a chance. Yeah. And if not, well, we'll be exactly where this Raphael wants us. Hmm, cold. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Okay, cool. Uh, what does the Kithrak mean? Githyanki knights. The riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's oh. will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my Queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. What a loyal s soldier. Uh, why were these knights chasing the Mind Flare ship? I was actually very interested in that. They are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. 
to penetrate the hells. Mm. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackest sight pierces the many planes. Interesting. Shadowheart. Bloody hells. Literally. <laughs> Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. Yeah. No matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Hmm. Why would I read her thoughts for this? That's invasive. He's a devil. Um. Not to be racist, I, like, I don't care that he's a devil. I care that he was creepy. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Mm -mm. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. I don't like him. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to change my mind. We should not trust that guy good that's what i wanted to hear i know people who work much like our new acquaintance does you don't need a scourge or a rat to break people fear and self-doubt is sufficient when actual pain comes the victims already done the heavy lifting for their torturer there were no right answers with that devil he was toying with his food us yeah i didn't like that man Glad I made the right decision, then. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Oh, uh, okay. Let's... Let's get it, get it, get it, go, go, go. Hmm. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, fucking Carlac is that way. God damn it. Something tore right through these people. Yeah, I the see that. The creature's eyes roll back in its head. Equal parts bliss and agony. Um, She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come! See! My flesh becomes new flesh! Uh... You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. Ew. You watch with cold realization. Ew. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Ew. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Uh, fucking hit it. Bloated. Ew. Ugh. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too. Stillborn. Good. We did it. Nothing Vile creatures. Nothing that's born of a corpse should be allowed to live. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil. So the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. 
The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? I think, yeah. You mean Raphael? Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to fuck with him. You still have hope, but when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. I came well, to get you, man. <laughs> that's the spirit. Lazel, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Mm, not exactly. But you answered my question. Someone's already slain these creatures. A pity they didn't leave any for us. Oh. Yeah, they... They certainly, uh, did slay these things. Carlac, I know you were around here somewhere. Come on. You're cool, I want you. Oh my god, she slayed all of these by herself? You've the most exquisite eyes. Golden as the sands of the Caliph. And you've a soft skull. A gay tentacle will have no issues pushing through it. <laughs> is that a compliment? No, it is a fact. Life in this Faerun is laughably weak. <laughs> Was Will flirting with her? It's worse than Knowles out there. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a dragon? Would that worry you? I'd give it a bloody good fight, that's for sure. <laughs> Anything you give a dragon. Uh, hello? Hi? Hello? Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. Um... Who or what attacked you? I'm sure it's the Nalls, but... A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are Paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the Fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. Damn. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. This could be the work of a devil, but they collect souls through cunning, not carnage. Hmm. It isn't like a devil to use their brawn instead of their brains. Indeed. She's a uniquely vicious case. All the more reason she must be stopped. Oh, where is she? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the sword of justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. Uh, I'll... I'll think about it. May the just God guide you. Give me. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that, thanks. Uh, there was someone else here. Oh, her hello. If you wanna go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Well, what's... why? Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. This is a nice place to hole up in. What, what is it? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. 
Whole houses mean gold. Seen any area? There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Huh. Looks like we're going down, guys. Hold your noses. <laughs> that body's so ripe, I'd need to drink the blood with a fork. Ew. <laughs> Wouldn't be drinking anymore now, would it? Toll house ledger. Uh, read that. Blah blah blah. Twenty-five. Pairing to abandon post. Uh, you should have. You should have abandoned your post sooner, my man. Asteron. Close. Wait. Impossible. Impossible. I've been told I'm quite scintillating. Have you really? No. Dude, Will has the hots for Lazelle. Oh, there's a dead guy in there. There should be a key here somewhere, right? Hello. Need any supplies? We have fewer mouths to feed now. Uh, how many did you lose? Two. Both stalwarts of Tear, sworn to uphold justice. Hmm. Uh, let's see what you have to trade. In Tear's name. Mm. Lazel, do you believe in love at first sight? I hardly believe in love at all. Oh. But I do believe in carnal pleasure. Oh. Dude, I did not know Will was such a simp for Lazelle. Holy shit. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. Oh. I accidentally clicked on you. Um You said he was your master? My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Kazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. Hmm. And power to control them completely. He hmm. turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. That's crazy. So you were his slave? A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. Aww. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak, and our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vein mood settled on. That sucks. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I'm, I'm so sorry, man. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. Okie dokie. I'll watch your back. Don't worry. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Uh, yes. Um, wait, no. How does one become a vampire? Simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. Um. In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. 
So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Hmm. Trust me. It doesn't happen. Uh. Huh. Okay. I really tried to find that key for the cellar, but I could not find it anywhere. They were just... We're just skedaddling. Ooh, he has a lot of money. They said they were down by the river. Probably followed the blood, right? Oh my god, there she- <gasps> There she is! There she is! There's Garlic! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh! I'm, I'm so excited. Babe, hi! Hello. Hello. Oh. One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Your devil were hunting? Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karnak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's oh. trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Hey, wait, she ain't... I... She didn't have a choice. Wait, um... Yeah, stand down, Will. Uh, you saw what I saw. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Gods, you're stubborn. Karlak's not a devil, and you know it. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Uh, that was easier done than I thought it would be. Uh, I'm Willow. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Hmm, what kind of evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. 
I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tears, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. They're fakes. I did just meet you, you know. Dirty work's the only kind I like. But there are a lot of them and just the one of me. I'll take point and you flank them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I mean... Mm. Yeah. Fuck yes! <laughs> they cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? The Blade of Frontiers, hmm? Do you always need to be the center of attention? Anything but. I don't fight to be flattered, Laser. I fight to save lives. Hmm. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And... I've played my part all too poorly. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Like, lay it out for me, man. It means that a reckoning's coming. And I'll be the one to pay up. Ugh, gods, what now? Do you have a tax collector on your tail? You're closer than you think. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Uh, should we be worried? You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Huh. Okay. I'm feeling a bit parched and peckish. Me too. Keep an eye out for any parcel of vagrants. I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant chicken. Vagrant chickens. Okay, so I took a little uh, a break. There's there's like a day between these recordings, but I reviewed my last one, and I should be all uh, remember everything. We just got Carlac, and I'm going to take a moment. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to sell. I'm going to take a moment and go sell all my shit, and then I'll be going to get Carlac and stuff. Okay, we won't... I'm gonna get Lazelle out of my party. Karlak's got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Hmm? Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Oh, she likes Karlak. What can I do you for? So how did you end up fighting in the Blood War? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Okay. Uh, fair. Um, about those paladins, though. Yeah, let's go straight there. <laughs> Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. Oh. Uh, okay, well, in your expert opinion, what is the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons She's love so projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Mm. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, oh. what were we talking about? <laughs> uh, that's exactly me. Ramble. Uh, wait, what were we talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, come on. Aces. <laughs> Aces. <laughs> ah. Uh, Gail has something... What? <laughs> Gail has something to say. Spare me a moment. 
if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. Oh, we've been traveling okay. together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd prefer to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Okay. Uh, what is it? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Ah, uh, I've heard of people complaining about this. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm gonna need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Uh, Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It is time. And by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Okay, what the hell? Where, where do you, where you want them? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. Uh... You're not having anything I'm wearing. Every danger involved. Or great cost. <laughs> yeah, I do... I do see no up, upside. Um, I kind of want to say this, but I don't want to make him too mad. Then I suggest you look closer. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. Okay. Far harder for me to assist you if I can barely stand upright. Ow! Please, trust me. Sorry, Your there was a cat. Could be the difference between life and death. Ah. Uh. Huh? Hmm. Should I probe? I kind of want to probe. I kind of want to. Oh, should I probe? Should I probe? Hmm. Can I back out of this? I want to see the, D the DC for it. Not bad. Not a bad DC. And I got it. You become one with Gale's mind. And you can feel something sinister oppressing you. Ooh. It's inside of you. A mighty darkness radiating from your chest. Ooh. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not... So, do you agree? <sighs> Very well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what you're I You're not need. having anything I have on me. Uh, wait. All the shit I have on me, I won't. <laughs> God damn it. I see. Let me remind you that this is not something that can be ignored forever. Artifacts are of little use if you don't live to enjoy them. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I should have something I can give to them, right? Still breathing. Okay. The only thing I have to give Gil would be that little necklace. So I guess I'll give him that. Devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, here you go. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Uh, yeah. 
You can have this damn bl Oh, I can take things off of other people too. Neat. You can have that fucking thing. Thank you. Oh. 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 That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. Perhaps now you'll tell me what all this is in aid of. Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served mm. by not taking that particular detour. Damn it. Not just yet. Sincerely, though. Yeah, yeah. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Okay. Yeah, that condition of yours is a very expensive one. Obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Why did they all get tents? Where's my tent? Is this supposed to be my tent? There's just some books in there. Look at all them. They get all their fancy tents. Is this mine? Is that mine? <laughs> I'd be so pissed. I'd be so pissed. Look at all their tents. Look at his tent. It's so, it's so nice. Here's another possible place that I could sleep just on a pile of clothes. I, shush! What's so funny? You haven't got some laughing curse, have you? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. <laughs> Still that sound, man. Uh, do they not mind her being with me? I guess he's got aura of protection on him. Interesting. You're level five. I'm level three. These guys are kind of kind of strong, aren't they? He's level four. Huh. That's a traitor. Uh, let's, let's try to do this, um, nicely. Let, let me go talk to him by myself first. Hey, buddy. Her here. We you can't see her. Assault. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Uh, you're weird. Tell me about that. Man, no one... I can't get no guidance. Damn it. Nothing in his demeanor betrays him. Uh, yeah, drop the act, I guess. Zariel. Certainly not. We serve Tyr, Lord of Justice, no other. Please, mercy. Why would you half of us there? are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit, we ambushed you. An assignment from our gods, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. Mm. Tell me. Enough. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this guy. So he was lying. Avernus was never my home. 
It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back. Oh shit. Okay, that didn't go very well. We're gonna we're gonna try <laughs> we're gonna try this again, okay? We're gonna go here. Oh how how picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did it. Okay, everyone come here. wind back in my sails yeah for real <sighs> fuck them fuck Thalariel. Ooh. i won't go back i'm never going back oh you don't have to you and don't have to mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off they'll find nothing but a pile of ash okay um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Zareel won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like you. Oh, wait, where are you going? <laughs> what did you do? Come on. In a pent up rage in a blaze of infernal fury. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna burn the whole place down. <laughs> settle down, settle down. How often does this happen? Oh. Oh my <laughs> That ought to do it, huh? That ought to do it. Yeah? You You wanna come here, girl? Come on. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. I saw that. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Beautiful. <laughs> um, I like you sh- Hot. Careful, soldier. <laughs> if I burn any hotter, I might explode. Yeah, that's that. Hear that? Oh. Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Uh, that's wild. This you got a fake heart? Yeah, how did you get what? My pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. 
He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. I think I know who you're talking about. It's the one in the yeah, yeah, the Damon. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. He mentioned infernal up machines. With his rusty heart, a world of good. Yeah, we should go. We should go check him. Ooh, sword of justice, huh? There you go. Okay, so I was looking around, hoping to be able to find that that key again, but I really can't find anything. Uh. I think I'm just going to have to come back later. There was something over by the overgrown ruins. I remember that door. Let's see if I could could hack it. Hack it now. Ha un unlock it now. Cuz what now? Asteron is right. is good with the lock picking. Yes, yes, lock Simple. pick it. Oh, it has a really high DC. Come on, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. Oh, so close. I have faith in him. I think he can do it. I think he can do it. Try again. Go, go. God damn it. <laughs> Try again. Ugh, that's that's not gonna cut it. Oh, it did cut it. Holy shit! That blood. No, never mind. You did it. Oh my god, you did it. Trap. Tra Time to dance. Trap trap. <laughs> uh yeah. Where are we? There's a trap. Oh, what does that do? How delicious. Ah uh! <gasps> Are are we good now? Are, are we like good? I, I guess we're good. Oh my god. A little help, please. Come on. Yeah, get out of there. It's some crazy shit. Oh my god. Is that just gonna be like that forever? Huh. I guess... I guess we're, um, gonna take a... <laughs> we're gonna take a rest now. We need... We all need a, a long rest. Oh, hey. What? What's going on? Hell's fire. She's coming. Who? Who's coming? Hello. Hi. Well, you've been naughty. Hi. And you know what happens when you're naughty. Ooh. God's damn it. Anyone but her. Who is this? Uh, it, it, are you Will's patron? Handler's the word, if it's all the same. My pup here's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. Oh, that's we equally terrifying and hot. Will. But Carlac's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. 
You told me, devils only. She's a tiefling, not a monster. Oh, precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. You're not laying a finger on Karlak. Don't you worry. She's lovely. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Uh -huh. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. Oh. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Oh. Uh oh. -huh. have you done the promise broken the price paid what you know the terms get used to the new form pet there's no going back some magic even i can't undo let's go now let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade karlak keep an eye on him would you i'll be keeping mine on you. What was going Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta ta. What? Um, you can't just not say anything about that. Will? What the hell? Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. You... wait. You warned me about Raphael, but you're pacted with Mazora. Mmm, do I want- I don't like the last part. What a fraud. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, sh what did you expect, man? She is a devil. Hardly a paragon of honesty. All these years. You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure before I was infected. Oh, sorry. I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, Every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Uh, all these things you think of. It's Mazora who granted me the power to conjure our Yeah, I didn't skip much. So what's the terms? I think I know one. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden. Unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Huh. Yeah, that's- Karlak's mm. all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. Uh, how's it- <laughs> How's it feel to you? be a devil, I guess? It said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. <laughs> but I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Uh, I mean, I think you look good. I mean, yeah, you you are still the Blade of Frontiers. 
It's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. Mm. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. I thought if I thought being a devil was irreversible though. Oh, we should get you out of this pack, though. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Yeah, there must be some kind of loophole. There's always a loophole in these contracts. Always. I mean, have you seen TV shows? <laughs> there could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can beat her. If we put our worms together. <laughs> We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. I mean, I'm a warlock. I, 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 I get ya. I met a fae. A beautiful fae in the wild. Was it beautiful? I don't know if fays are beautiful in D&D lore. Met a fae regardless. <laughs> They don't really ask much of me from the pack, though. So. Okay, Carlac. What I'll you be want? honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. Yeah. It's been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. It was very sweet. Defying his patron like that was extremely dangerous, though. It was a courageous or very stupid move. Wouldn't be courage without the risk, would it? I'll very figure true. out a way to make it up to him. What are heroes like? Swords? <laughs> shields? Shiny things? <laughs> Uh, oh, Astron wants to say something as well. There you are, my friend. Hi. <laughs> are you, are you okay? Are, are you drunk? I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> you seem happy. Uh, no need to drink humanoid blood then? You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can make merry with either. But they're not the same. <laughs> but Casador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even Plonk is a marked improvement. <laughs> Look at his little <laughs> The little nose upturned. <laughs> I'm curious though. Well, it doesn't sound like he did anything to deserve it. Uh, well, yeah, it sounds delicious. <laughs> it was exactly as appetizing as you'd think. Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. Yeah, you damn right. True, you can start over. You can be better than what he made you. Exactly. I can be better than him. Stronger. More powerful. More... Oh. You meant... Be kinder. Pet bunnies, that sort of thing. <laughs> I have no objection to being nice, of course, once I have the power to bend others to my will. 
I mean, mm, you can have both. You can have both. But, yeah, y you think power lets you do anything free from consequences? That's not really true. Well, yes. No. You can't look at the world and tell me I'm wrong. Mm, there's still consequences. Uh, I w power does corrupt. So you have to be, like, very mindful about it, right? It's easy to do something bad and be like, oh, it wasn't that bad. And the next time, do something even worse and be like, oh, well, that wasn't much of a difference. And then, you know, keep going down. Let's not do that, Astrod. Oh, I hope so. A little corruption sounds fun. Mm, okay. I spent centuries as the victim of a corrupt man. It was the Mind Flayers that plucked me away from that. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, I feel like I'm probably mm, like a cha chaotic good character. Like, real life wise. But... There are some morally gray parts, right? Being a little corrupt sometimes is fine. As long as you're not really hurting anyone else. You know? You know? Like, stealing from corporations. Who gives a damn? Stealing from someone who's poor. That's, that's bullshit. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, we have a few things in the inventory, like... Uh, the Shadow Heart gave me this mysterious artifact like a while ago, and I didn't realize I could just double click it to check it out. A curious ornate box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. <laughs> Look at Astaroth behind me! I didn't know he would just be there. Um, let's let's look at it. Oh yeah, got it. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. Ooh. What a pretty thing. I imagine it's dangerous. Most pretty things are. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> My only options is force it open or drop it on the ground. Um, I really want to force it open. Curiosity might kill me. The box doesn't yield. Oh. It's useless. Believe me, I've tried. I don't know what putting it on the ground or dropping it on the ground will do, but I... oh. interesting. Huh. There's no getting rid of it. We'll just have to keep it hidden away. Interesting. Very fascinating. Oh, it disappeared. Bound. Is there anything? Wait, she gave me this, knowing I couldn't get rid of it. Its many sides are engraved with mm. indecipherable glyphs. I'm mm, Shadow Heart. What are you doing? You gave me this. That's a weird thing to do. Bedtime. I saw someone. Uh. <laughs> Anyone who's on TikTok and watches Baldergate might have seen this TikTok already, but they were talking about people who auto-select the monstrosities that Gil has to cook <laughs> everyone with. So, like, half-eaten apple. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Um, let's not auto-select two oranges. Yeah, let's... Okay, 
I'm, I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna pick something out, and then I'm gonna try to describe what we're gonna be eating. Okay, I have it set up. I have it set up. So we have um, corget. That's a zucchini. I don't know what they're talking about. We have zucchini. We have cheese. We have carrots. Some spicy pork sausage. Garlic and potato. And uh, a thing of bread. So I'm thinking we make like this nice baked, um, not a casserole, but like a nice baked veggie dish with a sausage in it with the cheese over it and get a nice burn on top of the cheese I think that would taste really good so Gail make that for us <laughs> and we're we're off oh that's still going on on the background um <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Oh. We're just, we're, we're just gonna leave that. Oh wait, there was some more stuff. Oh, uh, what? The parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Huh. What's this? Oh. I don't know what that is for. Oh. Okay. Well, I think we're going to end that here today. We got... We finally got Carlac. Ah, I was, was so waiting for her. I... Okay, so... I w I've seen some things of Carlac, and I'm thinking I may want to romance her. Uh, Asteron is being... Aster Asteron is being very distracting. <laughs> very distracting. I don't like it. Uh, I'm trying to resist this man. I wish I could romance them both. I want to be Polly with, with both of them. But I don't know if it's possible without mods. Which is fucking sad. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna leave that here today. Uh, we'll... <laughs> fucking explosions in the background. We'll pick it off from here. We'll explore this place. And, uh... See what, what we'll be doing next time. Uh, everyone have a good day. Sleep well. Have some tasty meals. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! -bye.